Even the most careful driver can find themselves in this unhappy situation, driving down the road and hitting a deer or other large animal. Gosh, I think about this every time I drive at night or at sunset. In addition to the poor animal, you'll have to deal with property damage to your car or worse yet, injuries that'll require medical treatment. Andy Crouppen from Brown and Crouppen has some advice for us if we ever find ourselves in this unfortunate situation. Andy Crouppen, great to have you back. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, you have prepared us for all sorts of situations in the past with your advice. So how about this? What happens if, God forbid, you hit a large animal with your car? The first thing that you want to do, make sure everyone in the car is okay, because uh, there can be injuries. Uh, you want to move your vehicle to safety, preferably the side of the road. Uh, turn on your hazards so no one hits you, especially at night. Uh, most of these things happen between dusk and dawn, so it doesn't work out. Uh, call the police. Um, whatever you do, do not approach the wild animal. I know that we're all animal lovers and an animal is injured and, and you want to see if there's anything you can do to help it. An injured wild animal is extraordinarily dangerous and extraordinarily powerful. So as much as you have that instinct to help, it is not safe at all to do so. Take pictures, talk to witnesses if there are any, um, like you would do in any car accident, but be careful. A lot of people want to know who's responsible. So that depends. If you hit a wild animal, you're responsible. You know, it's and, and not not in that you could have avoided it always because these things sometimes jump out in front of you at night. But there is no negligent party generally with a wild animal. However, when you have farm animals, that person keeping those domestic animals has a duty to keep them contained. So. Um, that doesn't mean in all events they're liable. Like, let's say there's a big storm that comes through and knocks down a fence. That's not an act of negligence. There's nothing they could have done to control it. But let's say you're raising a um, hundred head of cattle and you leave the gate open. Or you negligently maintain your fence and it breaks and, and some cattle get out. Then there may be some liability on the owner of those animals. So what do we need to know about auto insurance? Like what's covered by comprehensive coverage versus collision? Yeah, so it's a, it's a good distinction to make. There is a difference between comprehensive coverage and collision coverage. And I always encourage people to have someone they can talk to. Don't just go online and fill out a form. Talk to somebody about what insurance coverage means to make sure not only that you have the proper type of coverage, but you also want to make sure you have enough coverage. You want to get, you don't ever want to get into a situation where your insurance coverage is significantly less than your net worth because you're putting your assets at risk. So I would always um, talk to an insurance professional or attorney who, who does this type of work, who can give you some advice. Andy Crouppen, thanks so much for your advice and um, nice backdrop you have there. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you need legal advice, give the experts at Brown and Crouppen a call at 314-222-2222 and check out BCTV on YouTube.